Hey guys, what's going on today? I have a pretty special video. A lot of people have been requesting this and I said I would release it soon, so I'm doing so now. It's how to mix your parts for mixed APCs. Now, mixed APC is basically if you have heroes of different troop types. So let's say you have a tech priestess who has fighters, you have death rider who has vehicles, and then you have hummingbird who has shooters. That's gonna be a mixed APC. They're all three different troop types and they have three different sets of parts. So not everybody has full Bane Blade sets. Um, and even if you have one full Bane Blade set, you might not have all five or whatever you want to do. So people generally don't mix their APCs without those Bane Blade sets. But I'm here to tell you that you should be mixing your APCs and you should be mixing your parts. It's it's doable. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as Bane Blade, but it's going to be better than, let's say, three full shooters. So let's get into the parts. Um, this combo right here is, is I basically going to be using some of the most meta combos in the game and, and kind of clarifying how you should mix the APC parts. If the combo that I've, that I've mentioned is not in this video, the combo that you use, it doesn't really matter. Use the same general guidance to, to mix your APCs. So in this combo right here, we have Tech Priestess in the front row. Then we have Kamikaze and Wrath in the back row. This is a fighter hero and these two are vehicle heroes. Placement is very, very important. So which row it is is very important. Some people will, will run this APC backwards. So you'll have a vehicle in the front or you'll have, you'll have Kamikaze in the front and Tech Priestess in the middle. For now, we're just gonna go with Tech Priestess in the front and I'll show the, the parts as such. So I actually don't have any regular sets. I just have uh, Bane Blade sets, but I'll, I'll kind of just explain which ones should be which. So for this example right here, we have a fighter in the front. Now, what do fighters need generally? Well, fighters want tactical resistance, basically. Fighters aren't gonna do that much damage. The exception really is being siren only, but in general, fighters are there to kind of tank or they're there to heal or have some sort of CC. So you really just want tactical resistance um, and HP. You really just want the defensive stats. So HP is great for everybody. Tactical resistance is really, really good for fighters. And then tactical might is incredible for shooters and vehicles, generally speaking. So you want to go through your parts and you want to see kind of what attributes they have. So you notice here that this has HP, the engine has HP, the control system has tactical resistance and HP. The other stuff doesn't really matter too much. Combat speed is it, it's not terribly important and marching speed is for everything. And then this countering enemy units is, is whatever. The suspension system has tactical might and might. So again, you're, you should be thinking shooters for this. Um, the cannon or the weapon has tactical might and combat speed and might. So again, think shooters or, or vehicles for these two. And then the bottom armor has tactical resistance and regular resistance. So again, you're, you're sort of thinking about uh, in this situation fighters. And then finally the tracks, it's just just resistance. Um, troop, troop load is, is totally not important at all. And then margin speed works across whatever. So basically we can see that there's two HP components here, two tactical resistance components. So this central control and the armor, two tactical might components being the suspension system and the weapon, and then two resistance components being the tracks and the armor. So how would you mix this up? Well, Tech Priest is in the front. She's going to be taking the most amount of damage. So you actually just want to, want to do these defensive units, or sorry, these defensive parts to be your dreadnought parts. And then you want your offensive parts in this example to be um, your vehicle parts because your vehicles are the ones who are going to be doing damage. Now, it's easy to say that, but there's a little bit more. It's, it's more involved. So if you click on that little information icon, you'll see these set attributes or these activated attributes, the part attributes. This is important and it's important to capitalize on this. So when you have four pieces of the same part, so let's say you have four phantom parts, I never know how many fingers I'm holding up, but let's say you have four phantom parts. When countering enemy units, that resistance is going to go up by a percentage. This, I have Bane Blade, so it's, it's a little bit more, but it's still going to go up by a percentage. So you really, generally speaking, you want to have four parts, four pieces of the same set. So four phantom or four dreadnought and two dreadnought, et cetera, et cetera. 
The six-piece bonus is, is actually very, very good, plus 20% damage. This is better for uh, damage APCs, so like full vehicles or full fighters, I mean, sorry, or full shooters are going to capitalize greatly on this damage increase. And then there's a skill if you have all, uh, all the same troop type and the same parts. So this one's not as important. Honestly, the skill is not amazing. It, it happens for like once every 24 hours. So it, it's, n I wouldn't really worry about this and you need the same troop type. So the six piece, normally you actually don't need the troop type. So let's say you had Tech Priestess, the same comma that we have here, Tech Priestess Kamikaze Wrath. If you just put on six Phantom, you are going to get this damage plus 20% damage, even though you have a mix of the troops. So then you really just have to think about, okay, what's what's going to happen? So as I, as I mentioned before, Tech Priestess is going to get hit the most, but you have, you have two different vehicle squads and the vehicles are going to be doing more damage. Now there's really two avenues that you can go here. If you want that four piece bonus to go on the vehicles, so if you think uh, shooters are going to be attacking you, for example, then you want that four piece bonus on the vehicles. So you'd wanna get four vehicle. APCs, parts, and all. And basically what that comes down to is, like I said before, these two tactical might parts right here. You should probably go on the vehicles. And then you can do uh, tracks and armor, and those can also go on the vehicles. Or engine and track. So either way, either way that it works out, it's, it's, it's going to be okay. And then for Dreadnought, you would go central control system and armor. You get that tactical resistance or you want both of the HP on to Tech Priestess. Me personally, what I would run on this if I was going to mix my parts, and you can just take my take my advice as you will, and so you don't really have to think about it, is I would use both of these, the engine and the control system, they would be my Dreadnought parts, and then the rest would be my Phantom parts. You're getting a decent mix between resistance, so resistance is still really, really good on vehicles, obviously, um, as vehicles kind of can use every stat and they work really well with every single stat so it doesn't doesn't matter too much so resistance works well on vehicles and then obviously the tactical might you want on them because they're going to be the ones doing damage and then hp is super super important for tech priestess and if you just stack hp tech priestess becomes pretty much unkillable so that's personally what i would run now if you think you're you're going to be attacked by vehicles in this combo for example so a vehicle, vehicle, vehicle to get rid of it. Then you actually want to think about going for Dreadnought parts. The reason for that is you're going to get increased resistance when those vehicles are attacking you. If you find that Tech Priestess is getting killed early on, so if she's getting killed in the first, like, let's say, five or six rounds, then you'll actually want to switch these to Dreadnought. And in that case, again, these four defensive ones, you'll want Dreadnought, and these two, you'll want Phantom. So that's really how you have to think about it. There's a, there's a lot to process in terms of how do you want to mix these APC. Uh, yeah, these, these parts, these sets for these APCs, but it kind of goes along the same way. So generally these two on the right are always going to be your damage, always. So whether that's shooters um, or vehicles, and then you kind of want to piece together these other parts. So generally speaking, I will go these two for whatever units in the front. If it's a vehicle unit in the front, then you can go HP in the front. And then these two would be um, for whatever else you really think you need. So in the example that I had before, if we put if we put Kamikaze, Tech Priestess, and Wrath, so we kind of swap the order, I'm actually going to do four Phantom parts. It will be the engine, the central control system, the suspension system, and the cannon would all be phantom parts, and then the bottom two would be dreadnought parts. Now it doesn't really matter. Um, you can keep the same order. This can, these two can be dreadnought and the rest of the four can be phantom and it's still going to work well, but in order to really capitalize it, you want HP sort of on that front row hero uh, as much as possible just to really, really, um, make sure you're winning it's it, at this point it's it's a matter of percentages of very small percentages but every percent counts so that's what i would actually do is generally speaking whatever's in the front row put the engine and the control system and then the rest you would be uh you kind of have to figure out so i have the carry and wrath for example in this in this apc so the carry parts will be phantom 
and then I just want my resistance parts on my tech priestess on my fighters. So that's that's kind of how I'm going to do it. Um, and that same guidance goes across everything else. So this this example right here, Anna Predator Huntress. Anna really doesn't need parts. Predator really also doesn't need parts, and Huntress wants all the parts that she can get. So, as I mentioned before, the six piece gives you plus 20% damage. You actually want to capitalize on that six piece for damage because this combo is all about Huntress and it's all about Huntress doing damage. So, in this case, you just want to go six Phantom. Even though this is a mixed APC, you still want to go six Phantom. Predator's not going to have any parts and she's, she's going to be much, much, much weaker. But again, it's really about that 20% and it's just focusing everything on Huntress. Also, it'll keep Anna, Anna, Major Anna in the front row alive a little bit longer. So in this case, you just want to go all Phantom. So you really have to understand the heroes in general. You have to understand their role and then you have to think about the parts. So if you're not comfortable with what these heroes do or how they should be used... I definitely recommend checking out some of my, my, my hero videos, my previous hero videos, um, both like hero pools, and then I go over heroes during token shops and things like that, um, and I really talk about these heroes. You, you, you really want to learn the heroes first. It, it doesn't make any sense if you don't know what these heroes do to, to mix your parts. Otherwise, you can just kind of, kind of take what I'm saying and just cookie cutter it in. In general, you're going to have a fighter in the front. If you're mixing your APCs, in general, you're going to have a fighter in the front carries in the back, and in that case, you can just do two, two Dreadnought, four Phantom, or four Ranger, or four Dreadnought, and two Phantom. So another very popular combo is Tech Priestess, or at least it, it used to be very, very popular. It still is. Um, Glutton, Tech Priestess, and then Hummingbird, or Cannoness, Tech Priestess, Cannoness, Hummingbird. Um, and obviously that's, I'm not going to change the troop types, but in that case, you have two fighters, so you have Glutton, Tech Priestess, or Tech Priestess Cannoness, and then one shooter. And what you'll actually want to do here, uh, I guess I'll, I'll let you guys pause it and do a little self-quiz if you want, but you want the suspension system and the weapon to be Ranger parts for Hummingbird and the rest of the four to be the defensive stats. Hummingbird, it doesn't really matter if you have defensive stats or not. She's going to die regardless, uh, so you really just want to want to tank everything with your fighters uh, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense there are some combos that it's trickier um, obviously you don't want to mix parts with with your regular you know vehicle 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 or fighter 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 or shooter 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 um, but this is sort of how it goes now another very popular combo that i want to cover in detail is tech priestess wrath cannon s uh, where is my cannon so this, some people call this like the casino APC or whatever. Um, I don't really care about the unit types. So in this combo, you have, again, you have two fighters and one vehicle unit. You guys can self-quiz yourself. Correct. These two are going to be Phantom and these four would be Dreadnought. Um, so at this point, maybe you're, you're starting to get the hang of things, hopefully. Now let's bring in Bane Blade parts and not full sets, but just pieces of Bane Blade. So it's actually easier when you consider Bane Blade. So Bane Blade, generally speaking, if you have a full set, let's say you have six Ranger parts and you just built your first Bane Blade part, don't put it in here. Don't ruin this six piece bonus just for one Bane Blade part. It's actually going to be worse. Once you get two Bane Blade parts, then you will you'll start putting in your Bane Blade parts. Two and above, just put them in as you get them and go from there. Now, Bane Blade goes against all troop types, so it doesn't really, really, really matter. But you can still mix your APCs in the same way. So if you really need the six-piece damage for some somebody like Huntress um, and you have two Bane Blade parts, you can still mix them in. And, and she's actually going to be doing similar damage. It's basically exactly the same. Once you have three and above... Uh, Bane Blade actually becomes more more valuable for you. So let's let's say we have two Bane Blade parts. Um, we have engine, engine and weapon, right? So these two are the Bane Blade parts, and then the rest we have either we have Phantoms or Dreadnoughts or or Ranger parts. So how would you want to mix it? 
uh, you'd actually probably want to mix it the exact same. So you want that four piece bonus. That four piece bonus is really useful, especially in this combo, because what beats this combo is vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. So you actually want to counter that. So you should pretty much just do the rest dreadnought. Now this, this is kind of weird. I, I hope most people aren't getting engine, engine weapon because it, it sort of splits things up. Um, but if you do, it, it's not a big deal. Generally speaking, people normally just get these two, uh, suspension and weapon first because they're both tactical knights, so they're both going to be on the same troop type. And then you'd have these four as Dreadnought, which is perfect what you want. But in any case, even in this setup, I would do control system, suspension system, tr uh, what is it, tracks or tires, and then armor as the four Dreadnought pieces. So you unlock this four piece bonus, even though... Like I said before, the suspension system should go on your carry, which in this case is vehicles. It doesn't matter because the four piece bonus is a little bit more important than the extra might or tactical might that you're gaining for wrath. So that's about it. Um, it gets a little bit confusing once you have Baneblade. And like I said, once you have three Baneblade, it really doesn't matter. At that point, you're gonna be missing out on all the attributes or all, sorry, all the bonus, like four piece or six piece bonuses, but you just slot them in and you'll actually have more uh, you'll have more attributes than, than you're losing out on. So just put them in as you go from there. Now, how would I focus on my APC parts or, or my Baneblade sets? So let's say I have one Baneblade set and I have, you know, all the heroes or whatever, or these, these amount of heroes. So Huntress combos, basically all Huntress combos, you can just do full Phantom. So you really don't have to waste your Baneblade parts on your Huntress combos. Even if your Huntress is like your biggest or your most, your, your strongest combo, you, you really don't have to use your Baneblade set on it. it. You're going to get incremental increases for having the Baneblade set, but you're going to subtract against having another great mixed APC. So if you had these two APCs, I would just go full Phantom on this and obviously Baneblade set on this as well. If you have like three or more uh, mixed APCs or yeah, mixed APCs and you only have one and a half Baneblade sets, really just go for your strongest ones at that point. And if you have two, obviously, just put in your two strongest. <laughs> Generally speaking, with Beyblade, I, you only need three sets um, to be to be really, really strong. To be like at the top, top, very competitive, you really only need three sets. Anything more than three is kind of unnecessary. Or you're like you know a heavy, heavy tank in, in the launch center battle. You're like the president, and you have all these buffs and et cetera, et cetera. But for the most part, three three Beyblade sets is, is going to take you very, very far. So. That's kind of how you mix these APC parts um, in your APCs. It does get confusing. And like I said, you really want to understand the heroes themselves. You want to understand what attributes they need and kind of what their role is in the game. So like I said before, Predator, even though she's she does damage, right? Predator does some damage. She's not like a tank at all. You have to understand that it's not about Predator. Predator is really just there to buff your Huntress. She's really there to, to give Huntress more damage. So you kind of have to sacrifice Predator in order to make Huntress even stronger. So that's about it, guys, for the video. I know it's kind of long and it's kind of confusing. Um, if you have questions on specific APCs, please let me know. I tried to cover the main, main mixed APCs that most people are using. And in general, you can kind of take the same guidance. So fighter in the front, you want to use defensive you want to use your defensive parts, care, like shooter in the back. Uh, you want to use your offensive parts for shooter, so on and so forth. Now, if you have zero Baneblade parts, I probably wouldn't recommend going uh, like three different troop types. So I wouldn't recommend doing like Tech Priestess, Wrath, and then, or Kamikaze, um, and then Hummingbird. Because you're spreading your parts really, really, really thin. You're not going to get that four piece bonus. You're going to have to do like two, 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 um, or one of these heroes is kind of useless, but in this combo, really there shouldn't be a useless hero. Uh, they're all really, really good heroes and they all want parts. So that's something to consider, um, is probably steer clear from three different troop types, AP three different troop type APCs until you have uh, Bane blade parts that you can mix in here. Once you have four Bane blade parts or, or even two Bane blade parts, um, then you can then you can kind of enter them in and, and use three different troop types. 
So that's about it, guys. I know it's a long video, um, and I know it's, I'm not covering every single combo because that's just impossible. So if you have a specific combo in mind that you really aren't sure about, you're like, wait a second, I, I, it doesn't really make sense. It's, it's very niche. It's very specific. Drop it in the comments. I, I will answer your comments and, and try to pick your best parts that you can do, or somebody else in the community who is pretty knowledgeable can also answer at all times. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it makes sense. Trust me, you should be using mixed APCs, even if you don't have Bane Blade sets. People shy away from it too much, but mixed APCs right now are just incredibly, incredibly strong. Obviously, when you have Bane Blade, they get even stronger, but without it, they're still really, really good. So play around with these parts, set them up, test them out. You'll understand that actually, wait a second, I'm not losing that much from not having that Bane Blade. Okay, guys, that's about it. Hope you guys have fun. Enjoy. Test it out. Go go and hit your friends. Go and hit some tiles in your state. Go do KE. It doesn't matter if you lose or you get hit or you're, that APC sucked. Try it out. But that's about it, guys, for me. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Spring is here uh, for, for my friends around the world. Ramadan Mubarak. If you celebrate, if you don't, happy spring. Catch you guys soon. Peace. Wake up early mornings, late nights, hopping on a different flight. What's the meaning of life? Hey, wake up, same ish, different day. Make a wish, call it pray. Am I sick? Am I okay? Hey, stay up.